Alisan, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Becoming Tigger. <laughs> oh, what is this? Guys, welcome to today's episode. Alyssa is now putting her hand inside of one of his ears. Uh-oh, what uh, is this? I'm just kidding. Oh, it's a pocket. It's a pocket. <laughs> um, guys, so today was the mouse parade, okay? So, for those that do not know the mouse parade, am I saying that right? Yeah. Mouse parade. Ma- yeah. Like, like a, a masquerade, but a mouse parade. Mouse. It's where everyone puts on their costumes. Uh, your big boy was a big tinker, <laughs> and Alyssa was Pooh Bear. We saved the outfit. You see, you'll see photos once you post them. But look at my cutie little bear right here. This is now mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is so soft. Isn't it comfortable? Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this around the house. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alyssa, that was on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link to the description box, uh, and below somewhere then, or, or I'll have YouTube, like put the, the actual product in the video so you can click and get you one. It was super cheap. It was like, what, 35 bucks, it was 40 something, 40 bucks. It came pretty quick. Shipping was really, really quick, but they have Eeyore, they have Piglet, they have Winnie the Pooh and all the other ones. And there's Monsters Inc. So if you're going on a Halloween cruise with Disney, you know, Halloween on the high seas, I'd suggest you grabbing one. Or, if you just want to wear it around the house, like I'm about to do, go get you one. Show, is... show them the best part. Show them the best part. What, the tail? No, there's a tail. It's a swinger tail. <laughs> she, she, come on. What's the best part? Come on. Come on. It has pockets. Pockets are awesome, but come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't know what the best part is. You put the hood on. Oh, I have, I have my hair is... <laughs> Oh, there's my little Tigger! Yeah, that's what I, I love it. Yeah, baby, you look adorable. <laughs> that's super funny. Um, so, speed of Halloween and trick or treat and stuff like that, um, we got we got something called pixie dusted. Um, we got <laughs> she's over here clowning in the back, guys. Uh, Tic Tac Olaf noses. It says you've been pixie dusted by Lucky. And Candace, stateroom uh, 9174. I don't know what this means, but I saw it. So maybe they met us and like, your breath stank. Well, first of all, um, if your breath stank, they're not going to give you orange Tic Tacs because these don't make your breath smell better. <laughs> they, well, taste, they, they taste pretty yummy, but they're not going to make your breath smell better. Um, pixie dust actually is su- something super fun with Disney. It's essentially where you make little gifts or buy little gifts. And then you just drop them off at random people's doors. Oh, like fish extenders. Yes, except it's all random. Okay. So I forgot about fish extenders, mainly because we were booked so late. Um, Also because of the hurricane, so I wouldn't have been able to get stuff done anyway. But I think they just recently brought those back during, you know, the panini and stuff. Mm -hmm. They kind of got went away with it because of social distancing. Um, But they brought it back so you can, like make or buy gifts for a certain collection of people, but pixie dust is like that, but a little more random. Hmm. So you don't have to like commit to, you know, a certain amount. You can just kind of pass. Well, you know what? Shout out to you guys who gave us that pixie dust. That's really cool for thinking about us. Um, We love to be included in your random uh, gifts. Olaf noses. I see. Because Olaf has a carrot nose and and it's an orange Tic Tac. You know what? I'm a little slower. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, not the brightest star in the sky. That's okay. Everyone in the chat, just go ahead and let me know. You can say it. We know the deal. Just call me a goofy duck. It's down in the chat, down in the comment section below. That's okay. Um, but Alyssa's now wearing my costume. Um, I can go put on her costume. No, you, guys you probably want. shouldn't. <laughs> um, so, baby, yeah. everyone on yesterday's video is having a war. Right a war. Now. An absolute war. What's going on? They're, over they're, there? We tore the community apart. Uh, how did we do that? The, what did we say? We're having a peas meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a peas meltdown over oh, there. No. S- some people are for peas. Yeah. Others are against peas. Yeah. Now, um, I love those guys. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> um, um, your mother hopped into the debate a little bit as well. That's fun. She did. She did. Um, she asked if you liked sugar snap peas. Does that count? Oh, sugar snap peas do not count in the pea dislike. I actually really like sugar snap peas. Why do they not count? They, they're they still peas. But they don't taste the same. 
That's fair. Turkish nut peas do not taste the same. Uh, and also snow peas. I like snow peas, but like the, they're like the thicker ones. Mm. But the uh, the little peas that you just like eat in the can not do it. taste good. Um, I'm gonna pivot to me for a moment. Um, someone did ask in the chat uh, how we feel about edamame. Personally, I'm allergic, so when I eat it, I start getting super super nauseous and I feel sick, and it's not fun. That's another thing I cannot eat. Um, if you want to learn a little bit about Griff, allergic to lobster, I know, going on all these cruises and they have lobster night, your boy cannot participate. <laughs> it will be bad. Uh, I'm allergic to conch. What? Yeah, what? Also, conch fritters? Also bad. Also extremely bad <laughs> for your boy. Uh -huh. Not good. I will die. Um, and another one is edamame and many other things like dial soap. I can go on and on with the things I'm allergic to. But... Yeah, so if we ever cruise together and there's lobster night, just let me know and I'll give you mine because I'm not going to eat it anyway. <laughs> so Also, um, we're still doing that crazy stupid sale on the website, Paradise Adventure Co. For everyone that's been putting in their orders, um, we will fulfill those orders as soon as we get back. The Hurricane Hat Missile shipping has been delayed. Um, sincerest apologies. So again, you're going to extend the sale. Buy one, get one 40% off. Still the best sale we've ever had. Go get you some cool sunglasses from us, Shop. Also, shout out to our amazing travel agent. I know, I'm going to say it. Um, if you're booking a Disney cruise, please reach out to our friend, Rose at WildTravelGroup.com. Um, she'd be happy to help you guys plan one. Right. Right. How's your cruise, baby? It's great. It's good. So tonight, we danced, we partied. We did. That, that masquerade party, I want to pivot to that. Okay. Incredibly fun. It was very fun. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. really enjoyed it, even though I don't like Halloween. Um, I thought it was really... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean you don't like Halloween? I don't like Halloween. Did we, we, did we cover this yesterday? Let's let's pretend that everyone that's watching this video, we're going to shake our heads together like, what do you mean you don't like Halloween, but you're on a Halloween cruise? There, I did it. I moved the camera in everyone's direction to what they're thinking. Okay. Explain yourself. Um, well, I figured... If anyone could get me to like anything Halloween, it would be Disney. And so that's why we're here. Um, also because I like Disney. And Halloween isn't like so, like, it's clearly present, but it's still not like so much so that I can't enjoy the cruise, if that All makes right. sense. All right. But let's go back to this party because I was trying to explain <laughs> that it was really cute. It was like a fun dance party on deck. It was really interactive, which is what I love. Um, the characters not only were on the stage in their adorable Halloween costumes, but they took turns like they were like rotating kind of like in the crowd and the kids got to take pictures and like hug them and like they're dancing with them. And it was like, it was really cool. So I like how interactive that was, um, for a dance party. Usually it's like the characters are on stage and like you're dancing and then they go away. Mm -hmm. But it was nice that they were like kind of mingling. So, I, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. That was cool. So real quick. Most of you watching this know this already, um, but for those that don't, maybe you're new to the to the channel. Uh, hi, welcome. This is Alyssa. My name's Griff. Um, but if you've never been on a Disney cruise, which I imagine some people have, um, something that they do is they bring chocolates to your room. And so we'll set our pixie dust to the to the left there or to the right. Um, they put a bunch of chocolate. Now it used to be Ghirardelli, I did. but now it's Dove. And so that's not new, but I'm just letting you know that, that they give you chocolates. And so something that they're doing tomorrow, which we'll briefly touch on, is tomorrow's supposed to be Pirate Night. Now here's the kicker. Pirate Night, they're going to pop fireworks. However, they do their own version of like the Midnight Buffet. It's 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 not a buffet. Well, it's a buffet, buffet. but and it's not at midnight. But after fireworks, it's around like 1030 Yeah, ten, right? Yeah, 10, 1030 10, to a... Or maybe 11. Yeah. Or 10.45. I don't know. Something like that. So for my OG cruises back in the Gap, prior to the you know the Panini and even before then, they used to have something called the Midnight Buffet. It was on many on cruise ships. They would do ice sculptures and mm -hmm. stuff. Really, really Chocolate cool experience. Buffet. Chocolate fountains. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Disney still does a, ver a, like a version of that mm -hmm. with their Pirate Night. So there's turkey legs. Mm -hmm. And there's there's hot dogs and tacos. Ta I think they said tacos, dessert, desserts. Yeah. Usually though, we're so stuffed from dinner, because we all, almost always have late dinner 
that by the time it gets to the buffet, we usually don't eat anything. Yeah. So maybe if I like prepare myself and like only eat a little bit at dinner because it's a different, you know, it's a pirate menu. Yeah, yeah. So maybe I just eat like not crazy and then maybe I'll want like a snack later. I just think that's cool. Like for the OG cruisers, I just let you know, some of you guys don't cruise Disney and you don't get down with Disney, but if you want the midnight buffet or a version of it, right? Um Disney's still rocking it. They're still mm-hmm. doing it. Let us know in the comment section below. Do you think cruise lines should bring the midnight buffet back? Okay. Let me know. I think I think that's going to be the question of the day. We we talked about some other stuff today. You can you can answer that one if you want. But I think the question of the day is the midnight buffet. Should they bring it back? Cruise lines. Um, guys, Alyssa and I have been planning a bunch of stuff up. And October is just jam-packed with activities. It is. Um, this cruise is amazing. These aren't the vlogs. Look forward to the vlogs. It's going to be super fun. We've been acting a fool. You'll get to see me wearing my Tigger suit. And uh, But thank you for watching these videos. Smash the thumbs up if you haven't already. But as always, um, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. And we'll see you in paradise. Tomorrow. Bye. Peace.